If you want to know about 7 month old sleep schedule, this video will explain all you need to know about 7 month old sleep schedule. Let's talk about 7 month old nap schedule. Near the beginning of this age range, you may find that you're still trying to work towards certain sleep and feeding patterns that apply to 6 month old babies. That's fine. Every baby will progress at their own pace, depending on their unique preferences and growing bodies. Around 7 months, they'll probably still be napping for 2 to 4 hours in total during the day. Now, let's discuss about 7 month old feeding schedule. You may have started feeding your baby solid foods a month ago, or perhaps longer, but if not, now is definitely the time to introduce some fun and nutritional foods. Some babies will want to devour everything you put in front of them, unfortunately, these babies are in the minority, some will be a little picky about the different tastes and textures, and some may still not have the hang of it just yet, and that's totally fine and normal. It's a learning process. Whichever category your baby falls into, your baby should now be attempting three meals a day at seven months. This may seem futile if your baby is still struggling to move the food to the back of their mouth and swallow, but the mouth is a muscle after all, and practice makes perfect. Nighttime feet should be gone at this point. Your baby is capable of lasting through the night without food. What they need more than anything at this age is a good night's rest. Early on, your baby will likely still be taking about four breast milk or formula feeds a day. Between 12 and 14 months, you may wish to switch your baby to cow's milk instead of formula or breast milk, though you're welcome to keep breastfeeding. Some people ask how long should a 7-month-old sleep? Well, the answer is between 7 and 15 months, your baby will probably still be sleeping around the same amount of time overall. Naps will likely be fairly consistent at this age. In the evenings, you can still expect your little one to sleep for 11 to 12 hours. As you begin to see an increase in your baby's gross motor skills, social awareness, language awareness, etc., you'll notice the importance of routine, dependable transitions and consistency. This helps your baby make sense of the world and take the sleep they need. Though they may not be able to consciously explain or even comprehend why they need to sleep, their mental and physical development is leading them in that direction. There will probably be some milestones that your baby reaches during these ages, so get excited. Learning how to sit or stand may be easy, thanks to their personal gym, aka crib. It is possible that these movements will cause a disruption in sleep, but don't worry. You just need to be consistent when dealing with the aftermath. But beware, your baby may quickly realize that this is a game. If they sit up and your response is to rush over and lie them down, they'll know to continue doing that. Avoid this silly game by showing them how to lie down instead of just picking them up and giving them the time and space to figure it out on their own. Lots of practice with these kinds of moments during the day will make this no biggie. If you would like more help with ways to get your baby to sleep well, join my newsletter. You will get tips to get your baby to sleep well, free ebook, baby sleep solution audio program, secrets of the super mom, parenting with minor, special offers, and many more. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more regular tips and update.